All right, so today we're going to be talking about Joel and Lockbird. Now, guys, if you guys didn't know, all of the videos that I have been making about, especially when I'm making my own deck profiles, and honestly, if I were attending YCS Bologna this weekend, I probably would have played Joel and Lockbird. Now, just to show you guys some proof, even in my recent deck profile with me playing Rescue Ace, which is the only deck profile that I have of this entire format because I haven't been playing that much IRL, um, it's consisting of Droll, right? I, I think this card is so good, this format. And I think even though like it doesn't hit all the decks, it hits a good amount of the decks. And it's the only card really that can solo certain decks, right? If you think about any strong combo deck out there, such as Manadium or uh, Infernoble or even Tier Limits, um, if you're telling me a single Ash Blossom or a single Imperm is stopping any of those decks, you are crazy. But what card can stop solo by itself can stop all three of those decks? Stroll and Lockbird. Stroll and Lockbird has the potential on its own to solo you games, which is why I really like that card. But as I continue to look at more YCS Bologna's deck lists, I've been seeing, as we can go over to Master Duel Meta, which um, by the way, uh, has really good TCG coverage, despite its website being Master Duel Meta. <laughs> so as we can see, um, so many of these deck lists here, let's look at, let's ignore Joshua's list because his deck list is a runic deck list and you know, his um, way of non-engine is not, you know, considered like normal decks, normal decks, non-engines. Uh, so as we can see here, right, Anthony Lopez playing um, a Rescue Ace deck that slides draw Lockbird does not main it. Uh, Tier Limits obviously cannot main that card. Um, we have a Labyrinth list, doesn't play draw Lockbird, chooses Imperm, Ash, and Nib, doesn't play Side stroll knockboard, but doesn't main it. Same thing with Gabriel Nets. Side stroll doesn't main it. Um, once again, um, this guy doesn't play any hand traps. Uh, tier limits, and then as we can see, even in more rescue ace decks, um, playing Veilers, but once again, not playing draw and siding draw. Right? No one is even this list uh, siding, not playing draw anywhere. Um, siding draw, not meaning draw, and, and so on and so forth. I think you guys can get the point of what I'm trying to make. Right? Is that I think from my experience in playing this format and my theories i've been always maining this card and um definitely was going to main it this weekend but when i looked at all the topping deck lists and the closer it got to uh first place i realized that droll just was not that popular of a card and i um am very curious as to why that is right so if we look at some uh past events such as um uh, YCS Indy or Ridge richmond which is the event before that right we had unchained winning that event right uh so I get that Droll isn't good against Unchained, so if we're following the, the, the recipe of last format or last event, then we would kind of see that if Unchained is on the rise, then Droll maybe is not a good card. However, um, with that logic in mind, then wouldn't you not play Hand Traps at all, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because like, Hand Traps as a whole just isn't that really, isn't that good against Unchained um, in general, right? So I think Board Breakers would have been good, but everyone here decided to still play Hand Traps, but they chose to play uh, Veilers overs over, um, uh, Droll and Lockbird, right? Which I think Valor is still bad against Unchained. Now, I think they're both bad, Valor and Droll. However, Valor might be a little bit better. Um, but I do think Valor has no chance to auto win you on itself, and Droll um, does, right? So I do think uh, it's pretty weird that there's a lack of Droll, and I do think that's probably why Pack made it um, very deep into top cut because you're playing against a bunch of decks that don't main Droll. And if you win the die roll, you're most likely going to win unless they do have Droll, which people don't play, right? Um, so I, I do think that um, you know that's dude. I mean, obviously, I I think regardless of Droll's played or not, Pack probably would have done well anyway, because just by the player by itself. Um, but I do think that it's very interesting that uh, Droll was not played, and um, regardless, I I don't see that many Manadium or Infernoble outside of uh, Pack even being in a uh, top cut, right? So with this information, my I find that very interesting, right? Because we're back in that cat and mouse game. So maybe next event, who knows, right? Um, Infernoble Manadium might just be on the map again because people are cutting Droll to play Veilers. And guys, if you're drawing Veiler against a Manadium deck, you ain't stopping nothing. So that's all I'm saying with that one, right? So I found that uh, very interesting uh, when I was looking at all these deck lists. So I just wanted to talk about that and uh, make you guys more aware. If you guys are playing combo decks, maybe game one currently in this format, if you have future events or locals or anything like that, people are probably going to be net decking YCS Bologna. And uh, these deck lists just don't have Droll in the main deck. So feel free to sequence your lines in a way that... Uh, does play into Droll, because you ain't going to get Drolled, at least um, right now, right? So, uh, pretty interesting um, there. So, like, comment, subscribe if you found this video insightful. I know it's a short one, but uh, more videos coming soon, especially tomorrow too, right? So, I'll catch you all.